screen share screen share screen share sorry <laughs> okay uh, now screen is available okay screen was not shared okay got it okay so i will repeat it okay no issue on that i will repeat that that part without sgb change location update request okay cancel location with the old mme the update location acknowledgement and this consists of your subscription data information as well tracking area update accept where your guti will be assigned and the tracking area update complete so coming back to your sgw change with sgw change so here if you have an understanding of of without sgw change you will have a better grip on this so you send a tracking area update request with your guti and your uh, tracking area id based on tracking area id the old mme is identified based on your guti the context is exchanged then your authentication is done context acknowledgement now since it's a new mme and it's a new sgw so it will <clears throat> now send a create session request because it's a new session previously it was the old sgw so just send a modify bearer request since this sgw already had a bearer available in this case since new mme new sgw so it will be a create session request create session request with the apn information with all the all the edl information and since the pgw is the same so the sgw will send a modify bearer request inform pgw that okay you have a bearer established with the old sgw you need to modify that you need to update that okay new sgw ip address is this and new mme ip address is this so pgw will update that information with it and then it will have a modify bearer response message informing that okay i have updated this information with me and then the sgw will send the create session response as well to the mme informing that okay the new session has been established between me uh, with mme and sgw and i have updated the pgw as well for this create session response then the routine update location to hss informing new mme cancel location removing the information of old mme update location acknowledgement to acknowledge this along with your uh, subscription information then since old mme is no longer used old sgw is no longer used so it will send a delayed bearer request delayed bearer request is going to be sent to remove any bearer between old mme and old sgw and in between and delayed bearer response and then the new mme since it doesn't have anything to do with user message will send a tracking area update request message assigning a new guti and the msi agent is, sent, is used to send an tracking area update complete message one thing you need to uh, you must have noted in the call flow is that there for every message there is a response message or an acknowledgement message if there is not if there isn't any acknowledgement message then what happens is that the any keeps on sending the message again and again there are different like i informed you that there are different timers that are available okay there are different timers available so if that timer expires and you don't get a response that um, that any keeps on sending that information so for any request there will always be a response and an acknowledgement message okay 6 to 9 again uh, 6 to 9 again is you have a new mme you have a new sgw okay so you will send a new create session request because you are using a new mme and new and there is no session between this mme and sgw for this msdn so it will send a new create session request to the sgw the sgw will the pgw is the old one we are we here i mean a fourth flow can be that there is a new pgw as well but we are not considering that we consider that it's the same same pgw that was serving this old sgw and and old mme so we just send a modify bearer request we just send a modify bearer request to the pgw to inform the new sgw ip address the new mme ip address to the and the pgw will update that information in the existing bearer information that it has the existing session information it has it has a session established here and it will update the ip address 
and it will modify bearer response. It will send a response to the new SGW intimating that, okay, I have updated this information with you. Uh, or modify bearer response, which will, please give me a Okay, I'm back. Okay, okay, I'm back. Uh, sorry, there was. Um, okay, so uh, this. Um, okay, so create session request, modify bearer, modify, and then create session response. Yeah, sir. I hope uh, it's 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 clear now, right? Okay, it's clear. Right. So update location, update location, acknowledgement, delayed bearer. So based on, so this is uh, your basic flow for your tracking it update where SGW change. This is a description of that. You guys can read it once I share it. And if you have any concern, you can consult with me and you can consult with the 3GPP documentation. Okay, so detached procedure, just similar to your uh, attached procedure, detached procedure in 2G, 3G, we have a detached procedure in 4G as well. It is used to detach from the EPS services. It is disconnected from the last PDN connection and the network inform you that you cannot access to the EPS. Okay, so in these three scenarios, and it can be explicit detached, it can be implicit detached, and once again, it's UE initiated, MME initiated, and HSS initiated. Okay. So it's it's pretty much the same. You have it, you, MS agent sends a detached request. If you have an existing bearer, and you will have an existing bearer because it is o, OG, so it will send a delete bearer request to SGW. SGW send a delete, delete bearer request to PGW. PGW will delete any bearer information in any session that is maintained and response back with the response. And then SGW will remove, will remove any session information it has, and then it will respond back with a delayed bearer response. And then MME will, based on this, will remove any session information that it has saved, and it will send a detached accept message. And then if there is any signaling that is between MSSDN and your MME, that is going to be released in order to ensure that other users are allowed. Okay, description of this, right. So I think uh, I think we will cover the session management part uh, in the next session. Two hours have passed and we didn't take even take any break. So I think um, we can wrap up for today, and uh, we will cover the two G, three G session management and the four G session management in the next uh, session. And in the meantime, if you guys and guys and girls have any query, you can send it to me one to one. Uh, you have my the number available and i have shared with you the 3gpp documentation as uh, the the reference document as well you can study the this reference document as well it will give you a, a better understanding more understanding because i'm covering the brief part so you can have a better understanding of this uh, and and you can discuss with me if you have any other queries or any concerns in depth discussion of the flow we will discuss afterwards once you have this basic understanding the next the the session after that will be an in depth where we will open some presses and then we will see that, okay, actually what information is covered in each of these flows, okay? So till then, uh, recording, yes, the mal recording, I am uh, I am um, seeing how I can upload it. I didn't get the time for, for that, uh, but I am getting it uh, recorded. And once, um, 
I think inshallah in two three days I will share the recording as well, whether it will be in YouTube or Google Share, Google Drive, anything like that. I have a discussion. Uh, Hassan, you have to remind me this. We will discuss this. How to proceed with this? Uh, either we can create um, uh, a Google Drive or we can upload on YouTube. Okay, so we can have a discussion on that, right? So next session, inshallah, uh, most probably next Saturday. But I will inform you. I have some personal commitment as well. So I'll try that we have it on Saturday. If not, I will inform you in time. Okay. And these training slides, inshallah, I will share. If not today, I will share it by tomorrow. Okay. So take care. Thank you very much for joining. Have a nice weekend, everyone. And thank you. And apologies if I if I missed anything or if I shared anything wrong. I uh, do feel free to correct me uh, because I'm just a student like you, maybe a little bit more experienced. But uh, giving this training session, you learn, you deliver the training, and you learn as well. Okay, so feel free to share uh, if I'm missing anything or anything like that. Okay, okay. Have a nice day. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.